Hello everybody, Princess the Bear here. It's cold. And it's Dapper Day. Dapper Day, day one? Dapper Day, day two, I guess, or day one. Today's the first day of the official Dapper Day. Whichever. At Hollywood Studios. So we're at Hollywood Studios. Studios. It's time for dinner. We're hungry. But you asked us to go back to 50s prime time. Yes, you did. We didn't want to, but no, we're we doing it because we love you guys. Mm. If I hate it, I'm blaming all of you. Yes. Equally. I, I concur. We're in this together now. It's your we fault. Are. Yes. So we're going to go in here and check it out. Come with us. Hopefully, we have some vegan options, and we will see you Baby. soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Slide of a breadstick. 
try the soup first. Mm. It's piping hot. Flavorful. Hearty. This is what you need on a super rare Florida cold night. That's a breadstick. We don't. And we bite. Mmm. The chicken noodle soup go well together. Chicken noodle soup is everything you can ask for. Not too much broth, not too little. Chicken's good. Chicken noodles are good. Everything's seasoned. Four and a half out of five plus. I, I, you know what? Screw it. Five out of five plus. This is good home, home cooking style chicken noodle soup. I like it. Bear fruits. Mmm. This salad was so good, I li literally licked the plate. I want every drop of the salad. Please give it to me. Please give me more. I want it. I want every piece. I'm, I'm going to be savage right now. So good. I got a chicken pot pie. For those that don't know, I've never had a chicken pot pie. It comes in a pot, usually, with like a crust on the bottom and top, and then like a filling of like chicken and vegetables and like a sort of like broth slash gravy. And everybody's interpretation is different. This time we have like a chicken filling with scallions and corn and peas and then a puff pastry on top with an allergy stick. Just so they're 100% sure there's no mango in my pot pie. Puff pastry is crisp. Don't even need this knife. I'll throw that away. So we have looks like chicken, some corn, peas and scallions. A little blow because I do like my tongue. At least in order to season their chicken. But everything was good. The sauce, the uh, corn, vegetables are cooked well. The puff pastry is basically perfect. I've really got no complaints. It tastes like a pot pie. A slightly elevated and fancy pot pie. But this is everything I expect with literally no complaints. So even though I don't want to, I feel like I'm only getting to give it a 5 out of 5 plus. Because it's literally perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. It, just, it tastes great. It looks like it's supposed to. What do you say? Like, I get that at like a Boston market. The food. It's like, yeah, this is a nice experience to come here, but I probably never, never, never come eat back there again. Yeah. Damn you, 50 firms, huh? <laughs> Honestly, to me, it tastes like that microwavable meals that you can get. Like the lean pockets or the hot pockets. I mean, it's not bad. It's not fantastic. It's okay. Two out, 2.5 claws out of five. I want to check my previous seven and get a four and a half out of five claws. It is good. It is very good. But it's still chicken pot pie. I really shouldn't be giving people fives for doing the basics. But it's still something that I would order every time I came here. 
because I hate everything else I'm in here. But this is a win for them. I give it to them. I like the appetizer. I like my entree. My food is like a jello. Look at it jiggle. Twerk, baby, twerk. Stop it. I, I feel like this is gonna be disgusting because I don't like anything that I've ever had here, but try to find out. Try it, yeah. It smells good. I don't want to order anything, but can I see a menu? It's not bad. It's very, very, very bland. Like if I was to choose between 50s prime time and sci-fi dining. Mm. Ooh. It's got like dill in it too. This is really good. Oh my gosh. I would come here just for this. It's really, really good. I'm still gonna choose sci-fi darn it because this is bland AF. It's much better than my option last time I came here. It looks pretty average to me. It's like baby noodles. And I'll put a link to that in the description box down below. It was like some basic ass pasta, but... I said a little bit more flavor, but it's not, not my jam. Not my jam at all. Bear's gonna like this because there's capers in it. I already know. What is this? This is vegetable medley. This is tofu, and this. That is what a very is, American menu. What is this? Uh, tofu. This is also tofu. Yeah. Interesting. Is this kale? Yes. I've never had kale before. I've read about it. It's supposed to be cooked. I don't know, I have nothing to compare it to. But yeah, I do prefer this to that, simply because one, I love tofu, but you're right, it is a little bland. No, it looks like a science experiment. I don't know what it is. How do I phrase this question? Oh my god, do not move it and make that noise. Is this what like normal American food looks like? No. Okay, okay. Because you're like, oh, this is normal American food. And then this came out and I was like, hmm. Mm -hmm. The items in the menu. Oh, okay. So pot roast, pot pie. <laughs> Things like that. The normal stuff, not the science. Not the way it looks. That, I don't know what it is. What? Can I, can I play with it? Yeah, play with it. It's Parisian. Stop, stop jiggling it. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like jello. It's like soup. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> the soup, I don't understand. Yeah, mushrooms are delicious. I love mushrooms. Oh, yeah, it doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes like the soup, but crunchy. Ooh, so it tastes like garlic bread. Because there's garlic in this. Actually, it's quite nice. Oh, now you like it. What? I think you just like the garlic. Yeah, I like the garlic. I don't like the look of it. Maybe if I just close my eyes and eat it, then it's okay. Do not put that closer to me. Stop it. <laughs> Go ahead. Why are you going to make that noise like a fool? <laughs> so, kale? Tofu. 
tofu. Are you guys on the uh mushrooms? Cartonelli beans. Onions. And with um ranch, chives, and baked bacon. Whatever. Mm. Do I need a couple more hands for dinner or do we not? Let's order the three more to get out of here. Wow. Yeah, that's good. It's like corn polenta topped with tofu and an odd veggie soup. One out of five plus. Mm. No. This is the some family members, wait, I think it was dad, maybe his dad, I don't know, layered chocolate and peanut butter cake, and I love anything with chocolate and peanut butter, so I had to get this. I really hope it tastes a lot, like, it looks very, very, like, chocolatey, like, it looks like there's a lot of chocolate, so I really hope the taste of peanut butter is really strong. And I thought when she... There's a really nice strong peanut butter taste with the chocolate, so it's really nice. I do wish that the frosting was like harder. The frosting is very soft and smooth, and I prefer like frosting with more texture, but that's my only complaint. I give it I give it a four out of five because I really like yeah. it. It's better to see fashion. Right. So I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really a fan of peanut butter. And I'm not a big sweets person. However, I'm curious. Oh, and I hate American sweets. Oh, they're so sweet. That's so rich. It sticks on the roof of my mouth. Yeah, I know you like that. Oh, it's so dense. It's so thick. Because Japanese sweets are very light and airy. So we don't use like butter cream. We use a thing called nama cream, which is like a very light kind of cream that we use on a lot of cakes. So it's a very different consistency and it's a lot lighter. And I'm used to that and I prefer that. So this is way too sweet for me. Yeah, but she's loving it. She's dancing. Yeah. She's dancing. It's really nice. I love it. I'm excited to eat these sweets before I go back to Japan. We are the opposite. Hello, everybody. Princess and Bear here, and we just finished it. 50s prime time. It was all right. It's all right. Better than last time, I have to say. I will give it to them. The service is a lot better. The food is a lot better. It could be that we just had things they didn't like last time, but um. They redeemed themselves. I don't, I'm not as angry as I was last time. I don't like it still. I'm not going to go there again. We'll Unless see. they change their menu options and then and you guys ask for it, then, you know, we because have to Because this, this happened because you guys asked. Yeah, you did. So if you guys asked us to go back to, maybe not for these prime time, but some other places, we'll go back, try it again, and maybe mm -hmm. we'll feel differently about it the second time. Maybe. Have you guys been for your prime time? Let us know in the comments. Please I want to hear what you guys thought. Hit notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we will see you soon. Sure, subscribe. You heard the girl. Stay warm. It's not that cold. It's cold. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Can I help you? <laughs>
promise you the prince doesn't even know where we are right now. He's in our own world. This is me and you now. I'm the captain now. Where are we going? I guess I decide. Animal Kingdom? Home? Disney Springs. That's where we're going. Where's the thing that's rolling all night long? How's everybody been doing? I love our community. Thank you. It's been great. It's been a fun little journey. As normal. I don't think you realize what's going on right now. We're done. We've been done.